Both the Wave Trigger and Tsunami support 44.1 kHz 16-bit uncompressed wave files. The Wave Trigger requires stereo files. Tsunami can support both mono or stereo. The files must contain only audio, no metadata. If you get the wrong format, they just won't play. An easy way to convert any audio file to the correct format is by using Audacity, an open source audio editor available for download at the URL above. Now for demonstration purposes, I have a 32-bit floating point 48 kHz stereo wave file that I'm going to convert. So I'm going to import that file. You'll notice that it recognizes up here that it's 48 kHz, 32-bit float. I'm going to go down to the project settings, change it to 44.1, now export it. I'll change the name here so that I can keep track of the files that I'm saving. Now I need to change the output file format to Microsoft signed 16-bit. Press save. Now I've also got metadata in this file, which means it won't work. So I have to clear that before I save it. And that's it. We've saved the stereo file. Now if you want a mono file, it's easy with Audacity to convert it to mono. Repeat the export process. Again, I'm going to rename the file so I keep track, keep track of what's what. And then save the mono file. And that's it. You can do the same thing with MP3 files and other audio format files.